Filling up the champagne pop. It's my house, come on, turn it up uh. Hear a knock on the door and the night begins Cause we've done this before so you come on in Make yourself at my home, tell me where you been Pour yourself something cold, baby, cheers to this Welcome to another edition of Press Pass Live. It's been a couple of weeks since we've been here. A ton has changed and went on here in Grown Folks Manly, but I am absolutely excited about being with you today. Flying solo, so you guys are going to be stuck with me for a little bit here. But we're just going to kind of catch us up to where we are right now. We are already in week 10. The last time that we were able to do a show, which was just about a week and a, two and a half weeks ago, um, we were just in this, in, into week one, and talking about the off season and the draft. We had one of the best draft nights that we have ever had, ever, much less here in Grown Folks. And ever since then, though, springtime has joined us. People are already outside listening uh, to the birds chirp and enjoying the family and barbecue. And it, some people are also vacationing already so look we've had a little lull here in games we've lost a couple of owners we lost one of our top co-hosts here and one of us he decided that go try another league and uh, dogs is on vacation and so stuck with me had a little bit of a lull but i'm still excited about our league i know that we're going to finish strong we've added one maybe a, a second owner tonight to fill the four teams that we have open you're listening to this and you're interested or you know somebody that might be interested we're looking for guys that will just come in here be good members play by our rules those who are going to be active will be super active right now i'm just looking to get games played let's finish strong this season and next season and then we'll worry about 2017 whenever it gets here so send them my way and we'll gladly get them plugged in let's hop in though and start talking about some games all right because that's the real reason that we're here we got Bill on the Twitch here. We'll talk about him in just a little bit. If you haven't seen, check out the new website. We've got a new look here. We have put everything onto one page, and so it's condensed, and it's much easier to see, to read, to understand. Of course, these are the three leagues that we have right now. Of course, the WWG Wrestling League is taking a break for a while. We've shut it down. Just because we've had a little infighting there, so we're going to take a break from that. The FIFA League is still going strong. I actually took a little break from FIFA for a little bit. I'm going to play some Road to the Show and, of course, our Madden League here. But you can find all of the information about Game of the Week, the new Week 10 that we were in, the blogs. Did a new hot seat, and then abruptly had to let that owner go because he was in another league and decided when he quit he needed to release a bunch of players. And so that's unfortunate. But we have to hold by the standards of leagues, and that is the golden rule. I mean, even though it didn't happen in our league, we need to be respectful of other leagues that are out there and not allow owners to stay here who do that in other leagues. You can check out the betting thread that's on a break this week because, of course, Dogs is out of town enjoying some vacation time. So check out the new website, gamersoc.weebly.com. We shortened the name to make it whole lot easier to understand and like i said we are already in week 10 let's just chop back two weeks let's take a look at week eight week nine talk about a couple of games that stick out to me talk about this chick that's in yoga pants for some reason right here on the side of my screen we can also talk about just some stats and some different players that are sticking out to me so here we go let's catch you up week eight let's hop right in there the bears of course are a computer team right there, so the Bills take them out 28-17. to The Chargers get a sim victory over the Steelers 55-10. to Something came up with that dude. He's actually had a couple of sims this year, which is not like him. Hopefully he'll be able to slow things down and get back into the game. The Redskins, of course, MIA. I think this was a sim game, 16-13. to A lot of sim games in Week 8. It's really, really disappointing. But here's the game that I want to talk about. The Packers take out the Patriots 28-24. to This game was played. Chaotic pulled it through. He's my buddy. He is uh, one of the main leaders here in Grown Folks. And I'm happy that he picked up a victory over an extremely good 
Patriots team. Um, this game was all about Jamel Neal not playing up to his normal standards. He was only 11 for 30, 241, which was nice. He did throw a pick, though. Not a lot of rushing game for them either. Rob Gronkowski, though, has an excellent game. Three receptions, touchdown, 101 yards. But look at Scotty Stover, a little Scotty over there, 17 of 24, 324, three touchdowns, the three picks. Where is you? You don't want to see that. Pruitt taking a little bit of a back seat to Howard for some reason. He only has 10 for 31, but Howard has 10 for 52. They get almost 100 yards, 83 yards there from their two running backs. Devontae Adams with a huge day, five receptions, 143, a long of 67, and a touchdown to boot. Uh, Jalen Collins throws in a pick on the day for the Packers. Uh, Ha-ha Clinton Dix, the greatest name in football with four tackles. The Patriots are all over the field. Two tackles, three interceptions, all kinds of tackles. But ended up the Packers come away with the victory at home, 28-24. to Congratulations, Chaotic. A little bright spot in the season that I know you are still trying to figure out. Not quite sure what happened here. The Panthers should have got the victory over the Lions. He actually had the CPU game played, and then it didn't record. He was supposed to be set for a sim win. It was a mistake. Those happen. We're not perfect. It sucked. Sorry about that, Pepper. He's actually on vacation. Didn't get to play this past week, so we apologize. We'll make it right some way, somehow. My Saints picked up a sim victory over the Falcons, well, because they're ownerless and we don't have one. The Seahawks with an impressive victory over the Eagles, 31-17. to The Raiders with a 35-20 to victory over the Dolphins. The Titans with a 34-21 to victory over the Texans before the Texans decided to go over to Detroit and leave a very good playoff team that is open. We actually just filled them about an hour ago, so we will have a new owner who will take over the Texans and hopefully be a long-standing member here, and grown folks are excited to have you. And if you listen to this, thanks for joining and giving us a shot. This league has been extremely active since Madden has started, and like all Maddens, we've kind of just hit a little lull here with springtime. But soon it will be too hot to be outside, and everybody hopefully will be back here. The Giants with a 35-16 to victory over the Jaguars. The Colts squeak by the Jets, 45-42 to as dog. Squeeze that game in right before he hit the road. The Cardinals with a 41 to 25 victory, sim victory over the 49ers because they are ownerless. And the Bengals with a 27 to 20 victory over the Chiefs. A very impressive victory, nonetheless. Then let's take a look at Week Nine here. The Raiders, who are red hot this year, they're actually in my game of the week this week, 24 to six. The Titans with a 37-7 sim victory over the Redskins, who has been a little MIA lately. The Buccaneers get a sim victory over the Panthers because he, too, is on vacation. The Lions with a 16-13 victory over the Packers. Uh, Beal taking over his new team there in Detroit and squeezing by with a three-point victory over the Packers. The Dolphins with a 27-24 victory. This was actually the game played before Dogs hit the road. It was a really good game. And Dogs said it was just one of those tough battles. The Jets, though, shockingly are at 1-8. I'm hoping that he bounces back. Of course, he lost his partner in crime in Winnebus. And I know that he's had a lot going on. But I'm hoping he bounces back because when the Jets are good, they're a fun team to watch. The Cowboys fall 20-24 to to the Jaguars. The Patriots rebound with a 48-14 to victory over the Browns. The Chiefs with a 38-24 victory over the Broncos. That one was a little bit shocking. I want to say that that might have even been a straight sim because their schedules just didn't mix. The Colts with a 38-14 victory over the Giants. I think this game also was a straight sim because their times just didn't match. The Rams get a sim victory over the Cardinals, 44-13. Unfortunately, Nola couldn't play. Um... Of course, he's been winning championships and being in the championship game here for a long time. But I know he plays in a lot of leagues, and he's not any longer in our leadership, so he's got plenty of time. But he wasn't able to play this week, and that is unfortunate. I'm hoping that guys in general 
pull it back together. And we'll talk about that before we end the show. The Seahawks with a 38-3 victory over the ownerless 49ers. The Steelers with a 38-14 victory over the Ravens. And then finally, the Vikings get a sim victory, 44-6 over the ownerless Bears. And we, Like I said, we have three teams open. Uh, we have one guy that is thinking about joining us and may join us before this night is over with, and that will be a ton of fun to have another guy to get here and be left with just two open teams. So let's just talk about a few things that are kind of sticking out to me. It's getting a little past halfway now, starting to think about the playoffs and possible runs that teams are going to go on here. Of course, the Titans are leading the way in the AFC at 8-1, and one, the Steelers at 7-2. and two. The Patriots have not had their normal season, but they're still sitting at 6-2, and 2-0 two, two in the division, 4-1 and one in the conference. The Chargers with a surprising run here at 5-3. and three. The Bills at 6-2, and two, and the Texans wrap it up at 6-3. and three. The Broncos, Raiders, and Bengals are on the bubble. I really like the Bronco and Raider teams. I think that both of those teams can make a run. The Bengals are a brand new owner, and I think that he'll get things figured out, get that team figured out. Let's go ahead and look over in the NFC here. You got the Lions at 7-2. and two. I wish you could turn these chats off, but you cannot. You got the Lions at 7-2. and two. Uh, You got the Bucks at 6-3. and three. Shocking that the Lions are at 7-2. It's funny. Bills hops over to the Lions, and uh, he takes over a playoff team. Junior actually had a pretty good team going there, but again, we talked about Junior a while ago. Unfortunately, I had to let him go because of what happened in another league, and it was really hurting our reputation as a league, and uh, can't choose one o- owner over the reputation of the entire league. So, you got the Cardinals at 5-3, and three, the Redskins at 5-3, and three, the Rams at 5-3, and three, and then the Panthers at 5-3, and three. the Seahawks, Saints, and Vikings all sitting on the bubble. I do like the Panthers team. I think that they will turn it around. Nolan, of course, has been a little MIA here lately. Never really hear from him anymore. I guess just plays in a bunch of leagues. He's very busy with life, but hopefully we'll hear from him soon. But those are all really good teams. The Lions, I think, is the most shocking team, though, that you see over there in the NFC. Didn't really expect them to make a run. Here are some leaders so far. you got Matt Ryan leading and passing 2,500 yards, 20 touchdowns. Matthew Stafford. Right behind him, Marcus Mariota having a hell of a season. Russell Wilson, Jameis Winston all having really good seasons. Those are some really good quarterbacks. It's the rushing game that's been a little bit different this year. Levante Bell's just a horse and a monster. Jeremy Langford back where he belongs at the tippy top of the league. He hasn't been there since Ducks left our league a couple of seasons back, but he seems to have things going. Alfred Morris is towards the top. Deshaun Hayes, who's been a stud ever since he joined here as a rookie, and Melvin Gordon. Those numbers are a little bit lower than normal, uh, but I think guys are starting to adjust to the slider settings that we had two seasons ago, and they're figuring it out. Tank Graham, the rookie, is just tearing it up in this league. 37 receptions, 918 yards. Marion Russell, another rookie. Chris Conley having a great season. Jimmy Graham over in Atlanta having a solid season. Of course, their owner took on a new job, and ended up having to step away from us just because life was going to be a little too busy. Looking at some defensive leaders, you got Arthur Brown, David Mayo, David Harris, T.J. Ward. These are all studs. Absolutely shocked that Navarro Bowman is a leader in this league. 44 tackles with one forced fumble. That guy is slow as dirt, but he is making plays in this league still. Khalil Mack. This is the year of linebacker interceptions. Khalil Mack, Ryan Chazier, Zach Brown, all leading the league and in interceptions are towards the top. But I think once Nolan gets back to playing, if he gets back to playing, he'll be back at the top. But he's got six interceptions in third place right now with Tyran Matthew. Defensive leaders in sacks, you got Cliff Averill, Anza, Hughes, Poe, and Copels. Those are all names that you really don't expect to see other than Averill and maybe Anza. But that is the leaders here in Grown Folks so far. Like I said, we've got some new updates with the website that are out there. So check out our website. The blog has been quiet. We went from having probably 10 to 15 articles a week to it's been just me posting lately. 
We do have our game of the week, though, which is going to be the Raiders at 5-2 and two versus the Broncos at 5-2. and two. I'd be honored if you just gave it a read. I try to put a little time and effort, a little studying into these. I don't try to write up something extremely long because guys don't have all day to read it. But there's a little something there for you. I personally like uh, the Raiders in this one. They're red hot. I'll take the Raiders 32-30 to 30 over the Broncos. The Broncos are a powerhouse, but a shocking and confusing team to kind of figure out whenever you dig at the stats a little bit and try to figure out exactly how that team's going to be. I like the Raiders in that one. Um, and so there you have it. That is a look at your up to week 10 here in Grown Folks. We've got some good games that are already being played. Uh, the Oakland and Denver game is going to be a classic. I like the Jacksonville-New England game. I think the Giant and Philly game has some potential. The Colts and the Bengals may be a really good game. And then I also like uh, the Vikings and the Bills. I think that that has the opportunity to be a really good game. you got to excuse me. I'm feeling a little sick. Sinuses and the springs here. So they're kind of messing with me. We have also started something new. And you can check in on Bill over here and see how things are going. So... Just for fun, just to get a, a feel of if it is a viable option for next year to add as a possible league here to our gamers community. This is a coach-only league that we have started. It's pretty simple. You go to your settings, you turn coach, turn coach only on, and then we set up this league with coach-only sliders. Basically, everything works the way a normal game would work. You become an owner, coach, GM, whatever you'd like to be. I personally did owner because it adds a whole lot more flair to the game. And you play your games. But when you call your play, you simply hike it and you leave the controller alone. And then the game actually plays the play out for you. So it's computer versus computer. But both guys are calling the plays. It makes your general manager skills really matter. It makes players really matter. Now, Drew Brees with his 86 throwing power actually matters in this game because the awareness actually matters. You can't just go out and get 87 speed linebackers and expect to be successful or 98 speed wide receivers and expect to be successful. No, in a coach-only league, your general manager skills, your trades, your free agent pickups, your drafts, and even your play calling matter. It takes the stick skills out of the equation. It takes cheese really out of the equation other than just play calling. They're a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. We've currently got five guys that are, have joined. We've got another four or five invitations that are out there of guys who may possibly join. Again, super laid back. We'll advance every two or three days. Uh, no really rules around trades. If you can make a trade happen with the computer, have fun with it. Uh, five free agent pickups a week. Um, we're probably going to sim through drafts, allow guys one day to do free agent pickups. Just going to keep it really laid back, pretty lax. Just want to give it a test see, see if it's something that we can bring on from next year. I really enjoy it. It's been a whole lot of fun. If you're interested, just hit me up. We'll get you an invite. Let you check it out and see if it's something that you really enjoy. Because it uh, it can be a, a lot of fun. Uh, there you see Beckham just going up and making a grab. What a play right there. That was a good throw and a good play by uh, Eli, Eli Manning. Excuse me. And uh, Beckham, he goes up and gets it and uh, shows why he's on the cover of Madden. So, there you have it, guys. Thanks for joining us. I, I just wanted to get us a quick... Uh, update up. It's been a little bit since we've done a press pass. I didn't want to do a live show because, of course, if no one calls in, I just have to listen to the music. So I did a pre-recorded show. I'm going to get this all edited together, get it out there. we still got two more days before we advance to the next week. So get those games in, get them scheduled, get them played. The forums have been super quiet. Hit me up if you're interested in the Coach Only League. We'll get you added into the chat get you invited into the league. The biggest thing, guys, is just finishing off strong. We've got this season, this off season, and one more season in. Probably going to get creative before we do the next season just to make it interesting and fun.
Sorry, my wife interrupted me. So like I was saying, I just want to make sure that we finish off strong. Please don't assume that just because you were in this league that uh, sooner or later we'll just shut it down because there's not enough people playing and you'll just be automatically invited back. It's not going to quite work that way. If guys are not active, uh, some guys have been really just uh, a pain to deal with ever since this Madden, and we've been nice and we've kind of put up with it. But uh, if there are constant gameplay issues, there are constant attitude issues, there are guys who just don't want to mess with you because they think you're a jerk because you just go off all the chance you get. If you're not playing your games, if for whatever reason you've struggled for staying active on the forum, um, you just won't be invited back. And we appreciate you being here, and we're glad that you're here. But we need you to get it together. If you're going to be here and grown folks, this league was built around activity posts, blogs, all the extra stuff, and uh, we're supposed to be grown men who want to play a game and enjoy the brotherhood of Madden and being together and uh, making connections and letting the competitive juices flow. So let's finish off strong. Let's have a good year. Thank you guys so much for listening to the show. We will see you next week. Check out the website, gamersoc.weebly.com. Check out the blogs participate in the betting thread which is going to be closed down here soon we will see you next thursday dogs will be back i will be here we will cover some more games we'll cover where we're at we'll catch us up we'll even start talking some playoffs and how things could possibly go thank you guys so much we'll see you again next week peace out